Hey, Jeff the Maintenance Man. Second part of the store. We're in our boiler room here. In one of the brand new facilities that we had built. And if you didn't see my boiler room tour, you can see this in more little less detail. But here's the cable room I wired. I wired all of this. Every bit of it except for the two amps. When this building, let me explain, don't cut the video off. When this building was built, they put fire caulking in the thing and they had all these wires just hanging down like this. Comcast has cut these off the block because obviously you're gonna get like ingress with that crappy crap and these uh, connectors aren't flush like I mentioned in one of my other videos. They're just, they had the connectors on them but they weren't in, really terminated correctly and uh, as people started moving in we had trouble getting Comcast or anybody out here to hook them up so I said the heck with it their box of equipment is right there and I guess it was a self install package or something so we ordered two uh, surge strips and we put the adapters for all these uh, amp modules or whatever the heck you want to call them here's a uh, says cat tv 18 premium cat tv modules these came in the mail and they were um you can actually tilt these a little bit but whatever you still need the 7 16 inch wrench or your cable tool or something like that anyhow um so when I got here, these wires were hanging all down. There was nothing here. There was the wood backing board, this whole piece of plywood, which thank God they put that there. So I screwed these in, and I left some of them unscrewed so you can pull them away from the wall and kind of snap them sideways like that. Most people don't understand you can do that, but you can. Um, if you take out one of the screws because it's so tied up against the wall that it's yeah there's a little bit of extra information on those if you want to troll me later on that that's cool so anyway had these Comcast came in and was like well um, there's a cable problem and you're not getting blah 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 all this so I, I took um, the main cable wire coming in they came in and they installed these amps and guess what they did with them they left them hanging like down here I'm like uh-uh don't do that so I took the amps I put them back on the board I grounded each one of them even though it's and here it probably is necessary because it's not metal back and I grounded them to the grounding block in the MDF box here so uh, which is a foam box so what I did was I took each one of the inputs and put it to the outputs of this and put it to the inputs of the amps one two three four you got four up here one two three four went like this Comcast has been here since then and hooked directly into the amp to get their best signal possible whatever whatever y'all want to do dude they've been I can't find any yet but they've been cutting off these this is gonna help you because um, when you're in the room it says 3R on the on the um, the outlet so if you're in this room that says 3R and you cut off the wire and you cut off this little label too and you kind of just screwed yourself. Now you have to use a toner. Now you have to do a whole bunch of extra work. But in this case, everything's labeled. So, this is the cable room I wired. So, Comcast came in here. Um, I wired all this. They left the Velcro for me. Um, it was all in a nice box, the power adapters and such, and that um, they came by and did the amp 
adapters that put a zip tie on them so they won't come unplugged. Um, the service loop was already here. Um, these splitters I installed, which are Antronics, and I just grounded from wherever ground was and grounded everything. So if somebody did come and inspect our stuff, this is always passed. This is always passed. The other junk that I just showed you does not pass. By our inspections, by state inspections, none of that passes because they think you know, somebody can get electrocuted with this stuff or some, some crazy crap like that. But, um, <laughs> which is funny, but they, they do come and inspect the, uh, these are probably just unused outlets that are just pulling it egress on the line and probably don't need to be hooked up anyway so but slowly and surely they will eventually have all these wires all over the place these will disappear I'm sure and it'll look like the other electrical room but this is the one I wired when this building first got built about three years ago and it's stayed that way ever since and nobody has any problems granted everybody in here only has like DTA boxes only one or two people have an HD set top box or anything like that so it's no big deal for a little bit of ingress to be on the line but um, egress will will screw up some signals after a while you have the uh, internet and phone rack here um, I don't deal much with this at all um, there's uh, pretty much your internet's down here there's a power strip uh, phone and internet goes through here so if 22R wants phone then you would take a wire and hook it 22R and then find 22R down here or vice versa and, or I mean up here and down here so you would find whatever pair you had toning if you saw my toning video you would understand this you would tone this line and find it hook it up and make this hot so you would take 22 and stick it in 22 and they would have phone in that certain apartment so if if you made 22 hot you'd come over here and you need a 3R then you would run your wire over to 3R and that's how patch bays work and then this is just the internet rack I'm covering the IP address um, with my hand it's got fiber going over to the next uh, thing and that's how the internet works plug it in works if IT lets you not gonna do a full buller tour but this is the gas fire buller two 250 gallon tanks I've already gone over this in my buller tour video this is aqua therm pipe it's not PVC it's actually melted together there's where I go up the roof hatch just uh, do the roof tour and stuff like that that uh, for all those Aeon units uh, recirculatory system uh, thumper tank and a uh, <laughs> what's supposed to be like a water softener but <laughs> okay whatever yeah, we'll just uh, pretend like I didn't even say that because <laughs> that is not what it does <laughs> Yikes Jeff the man guys y'all have a great day and y'all stay safe